morning tau overflows a spontaneous and natural upbringing is bliss the second cycle of seven years is immensely important because it will prepare you for upcoming next seven years if you have done the homework rightly if you have played your sexual energy just in the spirit of a sportsman and at that time this is the only spirit that you have you will become you will not become a pervert of homosexual or any other thing all kind of strange things will not come to your mind because you are moving naturally with the other sex and the other sex is also moving naturally with you there is no hindrance and you are not doing anything wrong whatsoever is happening is happening spontaneously and nobody is putting any ideas in your mind you are simply being whatsoever you are then from 14 to 21 sex matures and this is significant to understand if the rear cell has gone well the seven years when the sex matures a very strange things happens that you have never had the chance or you can never imagine I said to you the second seven year cycle from 7 to 14 gives you a glimpse of foreplay the third seven year cycle gives you the glimpse of afterplay you are still together with boys and girls but now a new phase starts in your being and you start falling in love it is <coughs> is still not a biological interest you are not interested in producing children you are not interested in becoming husband and wives no these are the years of romantic play you are more interested in beauty poetry art painting sculpture and all different forms of romanticism and unless a man has some romantic quality within him he will never know what afterplay is and sex remains just in the middle the longer the foreplay the better is the possibility of reaching the climax and better the pos possibility of reaching the climax better is the opening for afterplay and unless a couple knows afterplay they will never know sex in its completion or totality after play is the expression of gratitude towards the person who have brought into that state a taught foreplay is not the real thing but at least it has been recognized the significance of foreplay is being recognized but they are at a loss how to teach after play because when a person has reached the climax he is no more interested he is finished and for that you need a romantic mind a poetic mind a mind that knows how to be grateful how to be thankful to the person the person the woman or the man who has brought you to such a climax through sex through poetry through dance through the music or any other form needs a gratitude and that gratitude is after play and unless there is after play it simply means the act be it of sex or anything else is incomplete remember incomplete any act sex or anything is the cause of all trouble that man goes through throughout his life Sex has become orgasmic only when after play and foreplay they balance each other and are harmonized. The climax turned, turns into an orgasmic experience just because of that balance between foreplay and after play. The word orgasm is to be understood. It means that your whole being your body, your mind, your soul, everything becomes involved, organically involved. This is the state of a poet, this is the state of a musician and a dancer. Then it becomes a moment of meditation. 
to me if if your sex does not become finally the moment of meditation you have not known what sex is in its reality you have only heard about it and people have been writing about it they know nothing about the totality of sex most of the people know nothing about the innermost shrine where meditation blossoms through sex this is this this has been the central theme of the the sages in creation of the khajuraho temples on the outer walls there are erotics couples in various sex positions these create attractions and distractions simultaneously and because of these distractions you do not want to go within when you cross these distractions without when you cross these attractions without being distracted in any way then you reach the innermost core of the temple this is like this you are going through these attractions through the formative years of your life but there is no distraction of any kind then and only then you can reach the inner space and that inner space is the your shine of love within just as children are born out of ordinary sex meditation is born through extraordinary sex from 21 to 28 is the time when they can settle they can choose the partners they are capable of choosing one now through all the experiences of last two stages last two cycles now they can choose the right person nobody else can do it for you no math arithmetic no palmistry no astrology no i ching or any sort of thing can help you in any matter you are coming in contact with many people and suddenly something clicks that has never clicked with anybody else before and that this clicks with so much certainty that you cannot doubt it at all even if you try to doubt it you cannot the certainty is so tremendous with this click you settle life enters into a new cycle somewhere between 21 and 28 if everything goes right the way it is supposed to be without interference and uh, by others you can settle the most pleasant period comes between 28 and 35 most joyous peaceful and harmonious because two people start melting into one another this happens only when the previous cycles are lived spontaneously without any outside distraction it is during this period at the age of 35 you begin to feel that you are not the body from 35 to 42 is a new step a new door opens if up to 35 you have felt a deep harmony and orgasmic harmony and feeling you have discovered meditation through it from 35 to 42 you will help each other to go deeper into one another deeper into meditation without sex because sex is the point at that point it starts looking childish and juvenile you want to explore the stages beyond sex beyond sex is meditation first 42 to 49 is the time for a person to be able to know exactly who he is from 42 to 49 he goes deeper into meditation more and more into himself and helps the partner in the same way they become friends there is no more husband and wife relationship the time that time has passed it has given richness to your life now there is something higher and higher than love and that which is higher than love is the light that you are entering there is friendliness somewhere sometimes something that you have never known before a compassionate relationship to help each other to go deeper into one another and much more if the two becomes independent 
you are like two tall trees growing together or you are like the husband and wives are like two pillars they hold the roof of the temple but they maintain their individual separate identities 49 to 56 this aloneness becomes your focus of life everything in this world loses meaning for you now the only thing meaningful that remains is aloneness totally overflowing togetherness unexplainable understanding at 435 you felt that you are no more body at 49 you begin to feel that you are no more mind as well from 56 to 63 you become absolutely what you are going to become your inner hidden and unknown potential blossoms 63 to 70 you start getting ready for the final descent to drop the body now you know that you are not the body you are not the mind you are something beyond that body was known separate when you were somewhere 35 and now at 49 you know you are not the mind either now everything else drops except the witnessing self you are a witness to everything that is happening just pure awareness the flame of awareness remains with you and this is the preparation for death 70 is the natural life span for a man and if things go in the natural way then he dies with tremendous joy great ecstasy feeling immensely blissed feeling immensely blessed that his life has been meaningful that he has at least found his home and because of this richness this fulfillment he is capable of blessing the whole existence just to be near the person who is dying is a great opportunity a great blessing a benediction you will feel as he leaves the body some invisible flowers are falling on you you cannot see the physicality of those flowers but you will feel that the flowers are falling on you it has always been a great moment in the lives of the disciples when the master leaves the body and it is possible because the master can know when he is going to leave the body he can collect all those special ones who have been a fellow travelers with him moving the same way now that he is leaving he would like to give them his last final gift as the master opens his wings towards the outer world you will feel the breeze which is incomparable there is nothing in life to which you can be compared this is a sheer joy so pure that even to have a little taste of this is enough to transform your whole life if at that moment when the master is leaving the physical form you are available to him him that presence that moment you can be enlightened that very moment enough for now after this i will explain the life of buddha how it was uncorrupted and how it blossomed into awakening enlightenment enough for now